What's up guys, Card Protagonist here. Today I'll be doing a special video showcasing my card collection from the Triple D Climax Booster, Dragon Fighters. Before I begin this video, I would like to state that all cards in this binders are for grabs. This is because many of you fellow fighters have been messaging me on how you can get cards you need to in order to complete your favourite decks. So due to popular demands, I will be helping you complete your favourite deck. So. I am able to mail all these cards internationally, so no matter which country you reside in, whether it is the USA or in China, I will personally make sure that you receive your precious body fight card and is delivered safely to you with tracking mail. So, this is very important because uh, many of you guys have been asking me whether my um, my brother comes with me tracking. Yes, I do tracking because I want to make sure that I do the best service and make sure your decks arrive safely. So. The prices of each body fight cards will be stated down in the description box, so make sure you check them before you message me because all prices there are final. And also, all cards purchased will be will have an additional six dollar air mail fee. So try to get more cards because even you get even if you get more cards and the adds on to the weight, it is still six bucks because um six dollar includes all the deck boxes and top loaders which I will need to buy in order to mail you your cards safely and it is in the best quality as possible. So yeah, Whew. so I also have all commons, uncommons and rares in this set, so make sure you PM me as well and we can add on to the cards that you need to buy. So all payments are done through PayPal. So anyway, let's get started with this beautiful collection video. So the first page we have the secret rares and the secret flags. So right here we have the Gaumiko secret flag, which actually is really popular among dragon fighters because this secret flag just looks amazing as it is the Dragon Force Secret Pack and we also have the Darkness Dragon World 1 so if you are a huge fan of Darkness Dragon World I recommend you to show your pride of Darkness Dragon World with this flag we also have the co uh, two copies of Buddy Rare which is one is the Tasuku Ryuenji Dragon Force um, actually it comes with autumn art if you look check out this original Dragon Force it has a different per different stance and I personally really like um, this stance because it actually shows him smiling which is pretty cute and I also have the Gaito one, which is the Darkness Dragon Bow, but it's rare for their... So basically, they have the same effects as their Dragon Force, just that it's an alternate art and it looks much more golden. It's more for this, uh, more for people who want to show off their collection and want to show that their decks are just pimped out. So if you want people with that, get full glow, man. Alright, we also have, I also have these uh, promo packs, which is the promo uh, pre-order. If you pre-order Body Fight, you can only receive these exclusive promos. Otherwise, they'll usually be <clears throat> box toppers which are not holographic. So if you want to be like totally shiny, you can get them for me as well. And we also have um, every single copy of the Valentine Day Triple T set. So if you guys are looking for any Triple T promos, be sure to message me because I sh should have most of them in stock unless it runs out. Alright, let's go on to the secret packs of this set. Secret packs, I have, the, I have every single secret packs in four copies. So if you want to complete any deck... Um, be sure to message me because I'm able to supply you with all the secret packs you need. So first up, we have the Dragon Force one. Dragon Force for Sun Dragons. Very good, very important because right now, if you want to build the optimized Sun Dragon build, you definitely will need to have uh, four copies of each secret pack. Amazing card which allows you to draw additional cards whenever a card is stood, which is the main focus of the Sun Dragons. Which Sun Dragons is now have so much stand power. It's like a re-standing deck. Pretty damn amazing with huge um, aggressive aggressive deck. So secondly, we have the Tasuku Ryuenji and Jackknife Dragon Force. Very, very powerful because it nullifies every single card effect on the field. So during the battle phase, you are able to nullify the effects of your opponent's um, Soul Guard when you're attacking it. And your opponent won't be using able to use double attack since it is a card effect during the battle phase. So your opponent will definitely um, get destroyed by the control of Jack and Tasuku. And finally, we have the Darkness Dragon World, which focuses on milling out your opponent. Milling out is uh, actually quite a good mechanic in this set because they actually improve a lot of, of the decking out system with this deck. And right now, it's much easier to deck out your opponents with the Darkness Dragon World deck. Of course, let us forget our main villain of the, the main antagonist of this series, um, Kyoya and his Dragon Zuai. Basically, I have two, cop um, two different types of Azidaka, if you like. I have one with the alternate art with Kyoya in it, and the other one is much, it's slightly cheaper because it is not the, the Kyoya art one. So uh, prices all in the description down below. So make sure I make sure you check. I actually have four copies of each secret set, 
This one I only have two no, two sets. <clears throat> so if you guys wanna have the special kill ya one, be sure to PM me as well. So let's go on to a triple triple rare of this set. I have um every single triple rare in this set, and so if you're looking for a particular triple R, message me. Right. Um this card you definitely hate to use in your sun uh, you can use in the size 3 Sun Dragon decks. Um Bushiro actually uh, mentioned that Sun Dragon should now be played in size 3 because of the fact that they made Bao Soleil a size 3. So size 3 with a size 0 is the way to go in Sun Dragons right now. Very good. It gives you a, it allows you to get back a free card whenever it attacks from the drop zone. He has double attack as well. And secondly, if you guys are a huge fan of Angel World like me, personally I actually had I have another set of um, Vortis, very very powerful card, not able, its ability won't be nullified, so if you're fighting against Star Dragon World, you won't kill it at all. One of the strongest unit in the game right now, just due to the fact of how it's so damn tanky, it can't, it's so can't be removed, it can't be rested, and yes, its effect can't be nullified, so you won't be, you won't get affected by stars, frozen stars, yeah. Um, this card is actually really good executioners whenever he enters the field or leaves the field You can destroy one card of your opponent controls and deal one damage to your opponent Very good for withering down your opponents to low life And he also has the- he also boasts the move So it makes sure that It makes sure it get killed so that he can pull off its ability It's actually um, quite useful in the executioners deck Next up, 4 copies of Astro Beacon If you're playing the um, news the uh, new uh, Star Dragoners Jack deck definitely use uh, Astro Beacon. Whenever it, um, during your beginning of your attack phase, you may place one card from your hand into the soul, so you can put any Dragon Arms into your Jack, and you can draw one card. So you can actually um, add cards to your add a free card into your soul. Very very powerful card. Definitely a, a must play for in Star Dragons. Four copies of Zeta. If you're playing the Zeta deck, this card actually uh, improves the consistency of the deck by tenfolds. Because of the fact that you are able to add, um, you got, you are able to transform into a Zeta monster, Zeta impact card, so that it consist, it basically helps improve the consistency of the deck and allows you a fetch back a Jank clone into your hand, which is really good. And definitely a plus play at four in the brand new Zeta deck. Zeta has gotten so much stronger after this set, and of course let's not forget another hero world card which is very powerful, also usable in many worlds because of the fact that it's an lot. Omni lot, so you can play it in Dragon World and it will. It is a fantastic weapon. When you attack and you have four lives or less, or you have no monster on your field, you are able to pay one gauge, restand it, and destroy another monster on your opponent's field. So absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Another uh, another personal triple R that I would recommend, and it's one of my favorite decks, Zodiacs. Um, a huge fan of Zodiacs here. Very very amazing card. Basically, the Link Jokers of Body Fight. This card is able to paralyze your opponent's unit whenever it attacks. So when it attacks, you are able to stun one size 2 or less regards on your... So the opponent won't be able to re-stun them. Add in a double attack to this monster with a cross knife, and you'll be stunning his whole field of monsters. So he won't be, he won't be able to attack the next turn unless he replaces regards, just like Vanguard. So, personally one of my favorites. Definitely try to build this deck because it's one of my absolutely beast deck. Uh, you could use um, the variant, which is the Stars variant and Legend variant. I'll be doing a deck profile on those. So if you guys want to learn how to build the deck, definitely check out my channel. Subscribe, of course. So um, next up, we have 4 Sophia, one of the best cards in this set. You can play, basically I recommend you to play, him, play her in your Dungeon World Adventures deck. It makes the deck so much consistent. My friend actually played this deck and it really destroys your opponent in 2 or 3 turns. Just just do the fact that she's able to search out a set card so that you're able to properly set up your field with the perfect combos. So you basically search out your, um, what you call it, a form party and you can search out any adventure card in your drop, in your deck. So even um, impact monsters and stuff, very, very powerful card. You can also use her in stars, which actually fetches you out your frozen stars, the main winning condition of the deck. And she also has a skill that when she attacks, the opponent's ability is nullified, so attack um, a very, very powerful Zodiac monster and the Zodiac is destroyed immediately just because the Soul Guards is nullified. Very, very powerful card. Definitely one of the best in this set. And of course, we, are have, we have it in stock, unless it's out of stock. Now, for the double R's, um, some cards I recommend you guys to play. This is a really, really good Sun Dragon monster. It is a size 0. It says size 1, but if you control a size 3, 
Sun Dragon, which is the main goal of the deck, size 3 Sun Dragon, it becomes a size 0. It drops 1 grade. Uh, when this unit a links attack with a monster, a Sun Dragon, he gains double attack. Very good for clearing your opponent's field. Absolutely BC has 3k uh, attack power. So you combo with cards like your Dragon Force. You con uh, combo with cards like him, uh, Shake Hand Dragon, you're able to draw additional cards as well. Um, so you're having a size 1 that has a double attack, your size 3 has double attack, everybody gets double attack, you're going for game. So next, the next trip double I recommend is Cerberus, definitely you play if you're playing your um, Cerberus, your ace deck, helps bu boof, boost up your weapon, so definitely a very, very nice card to play in deck. Next up, what's Modai? The first is uh, the first few, it's not the first Asmodai, but Asmodai for Soga, it helps power up your other 72 pillars. Definitely get in your 72 pillars deck. Yami Gitsune, another card from the Scar Warriors variant, makes your opponent discard cards. Beautiful. Blade Wing Phoenix. If you're playing dungeon variant, dungeon uh, dungeon enemies and slash adventure rush build, you're able to use him because he has triple attack, which is pretty damn painful. One card alone deals 6 damage. Link attack with Tetsuya and your weapon, you will be dealing 15 damage or 16 damage up to one turn with the new deck. A very, very powerful rush deck. Next up, Valhalla. Valhalla is a great card if you want to uh, hard reset your opponent's field. Basically, when you use this, this card, you and your opponent discard the whole hand and destroy all cards on the field. But, the, um, Ledger World has cards that are able to counter, do, counter to this skill, which allows you to not... And get cards discarded so that you discard whenever you discard card you gain a plus. So which means you are leaving your opponent with hand no hand, no feel. While you have a little bit of advantage just because of the fact that you are in Legend World. Another card that I really, really, really like is Boost. Boost is a very, very good card ex executioners. Right now you're playing executioners, grab this guy because this is so dang good. Um so whenever you this guy space another field to drop zone, so you can actually just call a monster, replace it, you can charge one and draw one for free. So you're filling up drop zone, get a free gauge, and get one free card. Amazing. Simply amazing. Very good card. You can also play in Dragon's Eye because you have three different worlds in the deck. So Dragon's Eye could also utilize him to get a free charge and draw. It's kind of just like, you know, uh, Dragon Emperor Legends. Next up, a tier SD. If you're playing Guardians, you definitely can check her out. She is a very good counter to certain decks such as um, Zodiacs. You can return their Dragon Arms back into your bottom of the deck from the drop zone. So they can uh, mess up their strategy. You can also affect the place of uh, Saturday Night Fever. Use a tier SD. She's so cute. Yeah, personally, I'm a huge fan of Guardians. Um, Daikaido, one of my favorite cards in the Jaeger, uh, in the brand new Jaeger deck. <laughs> very very powerful. She is a size three and a size zero when you have a Jaeger. So and he also gives you cards from the soul. So you have a, if you need a card from the soul, you can actually use his ability to pay and get air back to your hand. And it generally just makes the cut the whole deck really, really good. I'll be doing a deck profile later on as well, maybe probably a week or two. But definitely stay tuned uh, to how, how you can build the best Do Jaeger deck on my channel. Four copies of Purgatory Knights Jack. So Jack has gone evil and gone crazy. You can, if you love Jack, definitely check him out. And Purgatory Knights, Purgatory Knights are still getting some boost from the next set, next season. So I'm really excited for that as well. So get your Jack today. And finally, one of, the, one of the best few cards in the set. Meteor Arms Drag Solar. If you're playing Zui or Zodiacs like me, definitely max out on this. Or at least play it. You really have to play it. Such a good card. When you call him, you get a fetch a drop, size 3 monster from the drop zone and call it on top. So you could get a Bao Sole, instant call Bao Sole with one single card. So you call it. And once it's a soul, it's a Dragon Arms. So once it's a soul of a monster, you're able to, when you're attacking, you can actually just. Uh, discard on the draw one improves consistency of the deck. So yeah, uh, uh, it goes to the soul, gives you a free soul. So it's just so dang good. So usually you should, uh, summon standard summon zodiac, you get two uh, one soul. You um, summon zodiac free fist effect, you get two soul. Him and then a brand new dragon arms, which makes your cut super tanky. Yami Gado. Yami Gado has gotten really good this set just because of this impact monster. Whenever it, whenever it attacks, if your opponent nullifies it. He takes two damage instead of the O one, and he's a very insane stats of nine two seven. So you double attack with Yami Gedo, attack your weapon. Final phase going him double attack again. The Yami Gedo deck is so damn aggressive right now, which is not even funny at all. So yeah. All right, so we have actually come to the end of the collection video. 
so many cards you needed for this set. Right, so what you need to do is follow these three simple steps. First up, message me on Facebook uh, with the cards you, and the amount of cards you need. So if you need a four secret pack, definitely just message me and um, I can check whether I have in stock. So link to my Facebook will be down in the description down below. So it's the same as my where the prices are. Alright, once the payments are made through PayPal, I will just need your mailing address and immediately send you the cards on my next mailing day. Usually uh, a day or two the next day because I sometimes mail some other stuff as well. Work, I work near the post office so I could actually mail you ASAP. And then third step, have fun with the brand new body fight cards. This is my favorite step. <laughs> Alright, so I'll be updating the description box daily for more of the stock ability. So if any cards are worth to run out, I'll just put it so out. Or if you have more in stock, I'll just update it. So yeah, let's try to check back anytime to see if you have any cards you need. So so what you're waiting for? For the faster you message me, the earlier cards will arrive. So I'm looking forward to help you guys build the best deck ever. So thanks for watching guys. Peace out and love you guys. Rawr.